Hello, good evening and welcome to Pucker Pickers, the after show. I'm Baz, I'm just going to do a recap on a few things that we bought recently that might be of interest to you. Let's cut to the chase. But firstly, I'm going to show you this, which is a water buffalo, which is a symbol of good luck with soapstone, I do believe. If it would have been jade, it would have been worth considerably more than what it is. I think it's probably worth as it stands, £200. I've paid the grand sum of £2 for it. It's nicely carved and it comes on its own plinth. Some plinth there. Uh, it's Chinese. It's a symbol of good luck. Condition is really, really good. Carving is really, really nice quality as you can see there looking around. Going off the plinth on this would be an indication of its age, but the plinth really is nowhere to it whatsoever. So I'm, I'm dating it at sort of recent, I suppose, no more than probably 30 years old. And a steel for two quid, so we can't go on with that. And then incidentally, uh, on one of the previous shows, I did mention a lovely blue, blue and white vase with lid that I didn't think was quite the same. And what I said was a marriage, I think, at the time. Well, and I gauged it at around 150. However... We did sell it and we sold it for £185 and we paid the grand total of £3 for that so we had the result with that so it was a fantastic buy and then I say things when you're paying that type of money you can't go wrong really. I couldn't believe when I saw it to be honest it was a steal. All indications of age were there, the foot rim like I mentioned before it was all hand painted. Really nice design with lotus flowers and things like that, there's a bulbous shape. Square, square at the top. The lid looked slightly different, and that's why I thought it was a marriage. But it didn't deter the per people from buying it because they did buy it and they put something up one one eight five. So that's their result. Three pound paid, massive, massive profit. And you just never know your luck sometimes. Anyway, on to the next item, which is a bronze coin. Now this bronze coin is in its own box. So I'll show you the bronze coin first. So it's just, it's a chap called. Jacques Cartier, uh, fa famous Frenchman. It's not Cartier, the watchmaker, by the way. It's a different kind of Cartier. I think he's probably a poet or something like that, perhaps, or somebody famous. And it's a big sort of bronze. You can see it there, bronze medallion. And that's a, his features. It's got really nice features. Again, it's really sort of well, well struck. And then that's the back of it as well. So that's a really really nice thing and it came in this box original box always nice to find the original box always has to the value boxes can be in some instances 50 percent of the value especially with toys stuff like that but this being a medallion a bronze medallion it's just nice to have it in the original box as well and it, it does add to its appeal and let's say it does it's great for looking after its original thing and it does make it more valuable, absolutely. So yeah, I bought this item uh, off a car boot sale some, some time ago. Uh, paid the grand sum of ten pounds for it, which is great. I mean, I've not sold; it's not sold yet. But um, online examples I've seen, I've not seen many of them. Uh, been selling for around ninety pounds. So it's a thing that's still online at the moment. No doubt it will go eventually, and you, you will find that with things. Some things sell pretty quickly, and some things sell slowly. And um, it's it's difficult to gauge because I've had things myself in the past where I thought, oh, that's a cracking buy. I can do that at a really really good price, and I stick it online. I do nice pictures, do nice description like you do that type of thing, and no build, no no sniff. I think it's not had a sniff. I mean, what's that? And then I. I bought things that are less desirable, uh, things just to you know bulk out your stock a little bit, and you think, oh, you know, it's there for just to bulk out my stock basically, and it, I might get a couple of quid for it, and then for some reason, it's it's gone mad, and people have you know sort of outbidding each other for it, and you've got to end up getting a really ridiculous sum of money for it. So the market itself is always difficult to gauge. It just really depends what people are looking for. So dates from about nineteen. 1910, really nice object, quite pleased with that. And then 
another recap would be do you remember the motorbike uh, that I showed the template motorbike which is a 1950s model and it was um, a Mac 700 Arnold Mac 700 and I said it was worth a, around 350 to 400 and it had the headlight with it that sold recently for £250 which was a good you know a good result again because I only paid £50 for it and uh, like I said, desirable item and I got more for it and it had the headlight but because the headlight was missing and was difficult to replace letting it go for 250 still great result because I paid £50 for that and I was happy to pay 50 because I knew it would sell and that was a quick seller that sold within a few weeks uh, quite a bit of interest and then I negotiated a deal with uh, a collector or a restorer and that nice little profit there £200 profit £50 laid out, so yeah, really, really, really pleased with that. Next item would be this, which I bought recently. Now, this is a Papi Mache snuff box, and that, that's how it looks. It's hand painted on the top, it's got a lovely sort of rib design on the base, and it's probably, it could be Georgian actually, or it's like late Victorian sort of. Thing. And then you look at the lid. It's got a water, a water, water mug or a water wheel. Uh, picture of some that stuff. I don't know if you can see it. And then what's great about this is, I didn't pay a lot for it. Paid around twenty quid for it. Now the good thing about this is the condition. Because it's papier mache, it's very delicate. To find one in the condition this is in, because there's no damage whatsoever to that paintwork, and the painting is not flaking, chipped, or scratched in any way. So to find it in that type of condition, it's as good as it gets. It really is. So what's remarkable about it is the condition. So twenty pound paid, it was a bargain because realistically that's worth around eighty, eighty to ninety pounds all day long. A lovely little snuff box. It's unique in its own right because it's hand painted, uh, quite exquisite, lovely design, like what you call a sort of kidney, a kidney shape, kidney bean shape, you can see the shape of it there. Really, really good thing. Um, um, yeah, that, I've got that currently up for sale. So, another nice little find. So, I'm really pleased with that. Then we come to another recap. Uh, I remember getting some. Not as interesting last two items, but we got we bought a set of four egg cups, and we paid around four quid for them. They sold for twenty three pounds, which again is a result because it's not you know it swings and roundabouts basically. Some things you have uh, are high end and go for really good money. The other things bulk out your stock, which was what the egg cups was for. The very nice quality, the fact that there was four of them. A no brainer again, so we bought them for that reason and then they sold. So, yeah, and that nice little result with them. So, yeah, like I say, some things go for big money, some things go for a small amount of money. But I suppose if you look at the profit to what you've paid ratio, you know, what is it, £4.23. Um, so, obviously, it's more or three times more than what you paid. So, you're looking at it all, well over. What is it? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen. Looking at like four and a half, four and a half hundred percent maybe, something or slightly more. So I got a really good result. So yeah, pleased with that. So I'll move on to the next item now, which would be these. There's two of these, by the way. These are Art Nouveau pewter inkwells. And the, what's nice about these is the French, they're really nicely designed. I suspect they are reproduction, which doesn't really detract from the value in the look of them, really, because they are very nice. Had they been original, they were for a lot more, a lot, lot more, but they've still got a great value because they are, like I said, they are repro, well made, a classic sort of. Uh, uh, Art Nouveau design and the French because it's it, they are stamped French, made in France. Yeah, on the, on the underneath there you'll see it made in France. So the grand total paid for for the pair was thirty five quid, and this one's the same. 
same kind of condition, same design with that type of thing. So £35 for the two. What do you expect to get for those? I reckon I'd get probably £35 to £45 each for those. So the condition's great, they're great to display, um, still very collectible in their own right. People, you know, collect uh, the vocals of the the organic fluid um, design as, as you know art deco different is sort of more symmetrical designs more modern type designs which appeals to people for different reasons so the art the rope here is more sort of in kilter with um, arts and crafts really so it's down to personal taste i guess i'll just have a brief recap of something else that we sold remember the bookends we had some um Eagle bookends, the wooden carved bookends, eagles. They were Art Deco in design. I think we paid around £10 for them. And they sold for £30. So again, a, bit, a nice turnaround. We did have them for quite some time, but they did sell eventually. And we always knew they kind of would do. Quite desirable. I'm always hoping to keep them, to be fair, as I really liked them, but Obviously, when the right price comes for something, you have to let things go because that, that's another issue you've got when you when you do what we do. You get kind of attached to some of your items, and I mean, you know, I, when I first started out, I, I sort of wanted to keep everything. I didn't want to sell anything, but then I became a hoarder, so I had a, a house full of all kinds of different things, and then realised I couldn't keep it all, and it was cluttering the house up. So basically, that's when I started to. So, and then one thing, you know, it snowballs then. You start becoming quite good at doing what you do and then you get to this, you know, this, the, where we are now, do it while I'm doing this. So, yeah, you've got to start somewhere and don't become a, don't become a hoarder. <laughs> it's a good learning curve now, you're collecting different things and you might find things. I still collect things that I like, mainly Art Deco things. But I can't, I can't scale it down. I just like really thing, things that stand out and quite unique in their own right. We go on next to something else. We go on to these, which are Chinese root figures. Now they're a pair. Um, I hope you can see the detail in these. They're really, really nicely carved. They're both identical in many respects, even though they've been carved individually. And the root they call root figures, which is like a root wood that they're, um, they're carved in. And you've got like a peddler or a uh, an immortal figure. He's got his, he's got his chains there. His chain, his chains. He's got his stick there. Stick. Uh, and then he's got his hat on. Um, he's got a smile on his face. And he's got little sort of bone teeth. Incredible detail. They're really really nicely carved. Probably early, early 20th century, maybe slightly later. Condition is it, superb. It's, it's all about the quality of the things and the fact that they're a pair as well, which adds to the appeal. Because like this is his, this is his, uh, this is his brother. Exactly the same sort of design. Really, really well carved again. Uh, and I paid the grand sum of ten pounds for the pair. Which is just absolute steal because these I've seen going from anything between two hundred and fifty pounds, anything up to four hundred pounds. So they're the type of things that I really, really like. They've got something about them. They're unique in their own right. And like I said, the hand carved. I do have a bit of a passion for wooden things as well. But so yeah, I've got them on. I've got them on for around two fifty. If they don't sell, I'm quite happy to just enjoy them for now. They will sell eventually. Um, but re just really pleasing to look at. The more I look at them, the more I like them, to be honest with you. So, yeah, quite pleased with those. Then I'll say about another thing that we saw, which was, um, do you remember the uh, Chrome Fire Engine Clock, which was a novelty desk toy? So it was like a tank, uh, a fire engine, sorry. It was a fire engine and a little quartz clock in it so it's, it's for like a chap's a chap's desk like a novelty clock type of thing and i think we paid we didn't pay a lot of money i think we paid two quid for those 
And not again, not a massive amount of money made, it's £17.50 sold for. So again, one of those bulky out items that was the right money, uh, in really good condition, which you know, would appeal to somebody for, to make a present for their dad or whatever. And it sold for £17.50, so that, that again was another great result. So uh, that's just five things on the recap um, tonight that I talked about. Hopefully I'll have a few more to tell you next time we have a show. Then I'll come to something entirely different, which is this. Now this is a drinking vessel. It's, I think it's a, a Vosier, I think it's called. Um, and the, the fluid go in there and that's the mouthpiece you drink out of there. And it's in a slipwear design, which is very, very desirable like a treacle glaze and you've got um, a matted sort of knotted handles and then around the sides of it there you've got these birds birds it's all hand potted really really nice little treacle glaze very unusual because i've not seen anyone anything like that before and i've bought this myself uh offline just because i liked it and it because the, the other thing that's quite appealing is the chap that sat there playing the guitar, which I find quite, quite novel as well, yeah, it's, it's interesting, so, quite a nice thing, we call it a treacle glaze design, age wise I'm going to say sort of mid, early to mid 20th century, you, know, you can list the foot rim on it there, so just quite desirable, I paid, I paid around 80 quid for this, it sounds like a lot of money, but I think it's worth at least double that. And it, I've not bought it really to sell it in the sense. Um, I've bought it to enjoy it and perhaps sell it at a later date. I just really like it. Now, I do anything unusual that catches my eye and it's different. And like, there's only one of these because it's unique and you know, it's hand potted. So, the result of that, will I, will I get, I'll probably get the 160 for it all day long and double up on it. Um, but I'm quite happy for it to live with me for the time being because I do I enjoy looking at it. And it is nicely potted. Like I say, the primitive sort of naive design really appeals to me as well. You can just see that there, it's like that all the way around. It's got a little bit of damage to it. A chip on the hat there. And a chip on the foot rim there. But it's nothing, nothing major. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. And then, i come to something else recent that I bought, which is this, which looks like a figure, a lady figure, but it's, it is a lady figure as such, but not quite what figure you think it is, because you look there, it's actually a car mascot from the 1930s, art deco in design, if you look at the, the dress, a pose the way it is, uh, this is in a bronze, a bronze metal, I think it was bronze itself. I think at one point it may have been chrome plated because uh, I've seen similar examples online and they are quite expensive. Um, this one I paid £65 for. Now, the ones online, the chrome ones online, retail at about anything between eight, £800 to £1,200. So for 65 quid, I thought I'd take a punt on that, I like it anyway. I do have a little wooden plinth I can mount this on as well. I'm considering having it chrome plated or silver plated uh, because it will increase the value and it's to be again something to sort of be to just enjoy for the time being. I will get something done with it and I will get it, I will get it online and sold soon. But yeah, it was a cracking buy for 65 quid. Uh, like I say, car mascot, which would be on the you know on the radiator cover of your car, and all these things were all arranged in the 1920s, 30s, 40s. They're all different types types of models, and they have come very collectible in their in their own right, and are, are quite valuable. So, yeah, fantastic result with that. Oops. <laughs> then we've got this. It's not the most unusual of things, but you can see. It's a Playboy cap. Now, Playboy cap, you know, oh yeah, ten a penny. Which, to some extent, because I've been making them for years, but what's unique about this one is it's an early one. 
if you look at that there, the logo in it, it's uh, an original from the 1970s, this one. So, an original cap in half decent condition. Really good condition considering it's that old. You'd think it was like, what, 53 years old or so. Um, we've got Playboy in the back there. So yeah, that is what you class as a vintage collectible. And anyone that collects Playboy stuff would well probably want one of these because it is original. Like I say, it's not a copy. And it because I mean, like I say, that's sewn into that there is sewn into the lining, and it reads that reads Playboy as well. So it says Playboy Basics, and you can just read that there, Playboy Basics. So yeah, that I paid ten pounds for. It's worth around thirty to forty pounds. Some you know some somebody waiting to buy that, as you can imagine too. So really pleased with that. So there's another after show. We are planning on doing a Christmas special, being Christmas not being far away. So carry on looking out there for your stuff. Oh, happy picking, you picking pickers. Uh, I'm Baz. Don't forget to smash a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.